Hey everyone out there on YouTube, I have a quick message I wanted to bring you to elaborate on the short that I had posted earlier, and that is to say that because people are in your life and because they have a certain hobby, it does not mean they're really your friend, and unfortunately, over the last few months with having new people in my life that I've enjoyed hanging out with genuinely, um, I kind of have to vent here and say that I'm not going to name his name, but he was a neighbor of mine that I hung out with and I felt like I seeked validation from certain things and I guess things for a while with him were just going to shows and, you know, that's probably why you guys haven't seen as much concert content on my channel, but um, mostly that stuff that revolves around the Vanguard now where it's local, but... <sighs> I've just realized in life that, you know, it's not always best to seek validation and it sets us up for certain scenarios. And for a while, I felt like this neighbor had me constantly under his thumb where I was his package lackey. I was doing things for him and I felt like his abrasive nature really did not do our friendship any good or whatever we had as a friendship. And I was trying to do things for him, whether it be the smallest thing. And, you know, I was trying to do what I could for him. And, you know, everything had been going downhill since la this Christmas when I was getting my tree down at the start of the year. And he's complaining about me not getting his package. And, you know, the longest realization it took for me to forget about him and, you know, finally move on with my life. You know, it's hard to forget, it's hard to relinquish control of certain people, but I feel like venting about it is helpful, and you know, the fact is that I wrote him a note and finally cut things off, and you know, ever since then I haven't looked back, and again, I wanted to say that just because somebody has a certain hobby doesn't mean they're your friend, they're not always there for you, and you know, also what I was going to say is the fact that I had tried to do what I could, you know, and he had me under his thumb, the fact that it took the realization of my caseworker coming in, you know, the new lady that's with me now, that's been super helpful in me getting my life in order, me getting things in order, who is actually helping out a friend of mine with some situations. And that's another thing. I've had new people come into my life that have meant a lot more to me that really have. And, you know, I have a new lady friend I'm hanging out with and we can enjoy stuff in between and not have to worry about, you know, it's just like, I felt like this neighbor of mine could just buy my friendship basically. And it was superficial and like anything in between, it was always, I don't know. Like I said, I tried to be there for him, and again, you know, Matt and Jason, my friends in LA, uh, my friend Matt in LA, and Jason had a conversation that said, oh, we got to get him away from him, this neighbor of mine, and, you know, finally, it took my worker to realize the fact that he had me a certain way, he was toxic, you know, and the gaslighting and everything, and after this truck show, <sighs> Basically, he wanted me to try to cut off a good friend of mine who's a, uh, an old friend of my dad's who goes to church and all that, and he was a good person toward me, and my neighbor had me wanting to cut him off, block his number, he had me riled up and angry, and I felt like, and even my friend said to me that if I start hanging out with him more, then I'm going to become like him. So then after this had happened, I just had an epiphany that maybe I need, you know, better people. June the 12th, I met my new friend, this uh, lady on the bus who I've been hanging out with. Well, and after a while of meeting new people and being with my new crew that I'm happy with, it made me realize, you know, who needed who with me and my neighbor at that point. Well, another thing is some of those people that you cut off, who don't have your best interests at heart, you know, you start helping more people out and doing good deeds for the ones who are there for you. Well, those people that you had to cut out are eventually going to come running back. 
and you'll find out who needs who more than who needs whoever because in the end you know you don't really need them and they don't need you at that point and you know and it's hard for me because I seek validation which is my biggest problem and a big obstacle I'm trying to overcome since I navigate the world a lot differently because of whatever character trait that I have and you know to tell you the truth it's not always easy and that's the setup that I wind up getting and I don't know but again as I said he would just have me under his thumb I was his package lackey you know I did things for him at the drop of a hat and I felt like it was just a very abrasive nature he had and the difference between him and my best friend Jason is we can just talk things out if we have a difference me and my friend Jason after a certain concert we went to you know we had some issues getting back and you know we kind of didn't talk for a bit we hammered it out but me and my ex-friend neighbor we can't and that's the difference between those are the ones who are really there for you where if you can talk your differences out that means you have something good but again I just want to put that out there for you guys since I'll elaborate on this YouTube short that I made as to say the least so you know that way people can learn from my experience and the fact that it takes more than three people to tell you hey this isn't good. You should back up. You should get away from this. Like, and I was afraid to, and that's not good. So I want to make sure this message serves as a warning to certain people that you can have a collection. You can have this. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. You can still have a crap personality. And I've noticed ever since I've cut him off, me and my worker have noticed he's had certain people come into his house and... I guess he's been on kind of a downhill slide with things. I'm not naming names, but I feel like ever since uh, he started, people started separating from him. And it's just interesting how things become reversed in certain situations. But, you know, I've stayed in my lane. I left him a note and all that. But again, this is just a message out there and I've had to block him on all the accounts and stuff. And ever since then, you know, I, I really haven't looked back. And again, I just want this to serve as a big message and my reminder as I vent to y'all, whatever media platform this is posted on. Um, this is just my message. The fact that, you know, realize who the real ones are, realize who your real people are. And, you know, that's all I got to say. And I want you all to have a good day. I will see you guys later. Bye.